I could have literally spent hours researching for this topic. I have so many boards of just like random things, like my wedding planning, to crochet ideas, to men, to women, to just apartment ideas, everything. I love Pinterest so much. I could have spent hours finding these things, but I tried to contain myself. I tried to contain myself. Hello, Bambinas, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hello, how are you? I hope you're well. Today, I wanted to do a little bit of a different type of video. I saw Amazing Page do this, but it's basically a bunch of crochet patterns for you guys, and for me. I love doing this because I get new ideas and yeah whether it's for crochet or just like decor in general for the first video of this i wanted to do something that is comfortable to me and we're gonna do whimsy goth so we're gonna be doing around 50 ideas for whimsy goth crochet patterns to inspire you to inspire me to be inspired whimsy goth to me is like my aesthetic it's what i want my aesthetic to finally be I have like two main styles which is very much like this, which is like Weasley core I call it because it just reminds me of the Weasleys and also like gothic emo which is where I'm like in all black and a little bit, a little bit promiscuous. All the patterns that I'm going to be talking about today I will try my very 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 best to link them down below all in order in the order that I say them. If I can't find the pattern or video that the piece was taken from then I will just link the pinned link down below do you know what I mean in the description box I will try my very best to find all of the things I'll be talking about I wasn't sure whether to do it in sections so there's some home decor things and then there's clothing which is clothing accessories everything like that so I might just do it in that I might just do it in clothing accessories and then home decor so it's a little bit more broken up and then I can put it in chapters on YouTube so it's a little bit easier for you guys to to follow along with it is so warm and I'm in a jumper. <sighs> also, look at the roots, darling roots. Anyway, not important. On to the ideas. Okay, so the first thing that I saw when I just typed in like crochet whimsical ideas is this jumper and oh my gosh, I am obsessed. It's just like, a really chunky jumper but it's like a very unique shape and the eye in the center is just mwah. but there are quite a few designs so there was this one here and then there was like a longer one and it had like different colors in it but I really this is like what I want to be able to crochet for myself because it's just really slouchy and like the arms like the sleeves are just so big and just yeah and then this is it from like the back they also made it in this green colour as well and again it's just like a really big baggy oversized jumper and I think it's really really freaking cute and very very whimsy goth. Then I saw these and these are just basically the things that I've already done which is the sleeves, the black sleeves but in a more sage colour. Again I want to be able to find these types of earthy tones, I think those are the balls of yarn that I want to buy next, uh, more earthy tones so I can start making clothes, I think that'd be really really cool. And I always see people using this type of yarn as well, which I want to try. It's more like frayed, like very soft. You can tell that it's a very soft yarn. And I think that'd be really cool. And I love the weather it looks on these sleeves, personally. It's giving very much like practical magic, which is of Eastwick, like even like Lorelei, like Lorelei Gilmore. I feel like it's very Lorelei Gilmore Girls meets practical magic, Nicole Kidman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then this is like another cropped sleeves, like sleeves project. It's basically the same as the first one but different colours and it's more of the it's more of the, like the waffle style stitch um if you know what I mean instead of like the bulky double crochet for double crochet it's more like waffles then I found this this is more gothic rather than whimsy goth but it's just a little distressed sleeves I just saved it to this and pinned it to this because I'd probably do it in like a sage if I wanted to be more whimsy goth instead of like full goth but this in black as well is just absolutely scrumdiddly umptious and I love the next we have this mesh top and it's like one of the tie tops at the front I really want to make one of these as well I feel like this is I feel like the tie tops with the really long ties just really 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 just make it whimsical do you know what I mean just any crocheted item with the tie front is just and especially I really like this pattern as well it looks really really like just really cool and really comfortable and really cute then this next one I feel like we're going into like high fashion like 
territory a little bit. It's just, do you know when they're just, dist- it's just a bunch of different stitches and it just looks really distressed. I love that, especially if you have like, like a plain long black skirt or like brown skirt or something like quite plain on the bottom to then have something like really distressed and like it looks technical on the top. I feel like that looks really, really cute. And this is just one in grey and black, but I'd probably do it in like a earthy tone if, again, if I wanted to be more whimsical rather than gothic. Depending on what type of whimsy goth you are, whether it's the whimsy goth that's the colours or whimsy goth that's the style or a mixture of both, I'd, yeah. And then we're getting to some of my favourite style of jumper, which is the bell sleeve jumpers. I'm in love with bell sleeves. Bell sleeves, wide sleeves, just something that like goes, not this, because this is just oversized wide sleeve but something that just like flares out on the ends or isn't the same like isn't constant the entire way through the sleeve I absolutely love I'm so sorry I can hear how like my nose is so backed up I'm so sorry that you have to listen to this but it is what it is now this bit I pinned and I have added in this video but I'm pretty sure it's knitted I don't think it's crocheted but I just thought I'd add this in anyway because it's really really pretty and I feel like people need to see it so this is just like a maroon burgundy bell sleeved top and I wanted to include it because it's really pretty but I'm not 100% sure that it's crocheted I'm pretty sure it's knitted but this next thing oh my gosh it's it's, it's slightly fairy goth by whimsy goth it's like a whimsical fairy goth so I've included fairy type things in here as well, but with more earthy tones, such as this top. I'm in love with this top. I think it's beautiful. Like the little tie in the middle, the way that it ties together in the middle, the the bell sleeves, but it's kind of like bumpy bell sleeves. Does that make sense? I'm really not good at describing things, but I try my best. And just the colour overall, like those burnt, burnt browns and the reds and the, the, the more warm tones, I just think are beautiful. And like when you have ginger hair, even though it's not, you know, 100% real ginger hair. I just feel like it'd look really, really nice. And then I think this is one of my favourite items that I've pinned. It's something that I just look at and I'm like, I would never be able to do that. But I feel like once you look at the pattern and you you just practice, it's like, I'm not sure if anyone, I think I'd not added it into this, but I might get a little photo here now. But the spider's webs jumpers. I really want to make one of those, but it just looks so complicated. But I think it's just because of the middle bit. So the, once I have the middle bit sorted, I feel like it, it'd just be quite easy. I think it's supposed to be a sunflower. Like I think that's what it is. And sunflowers are my favorite flowers ever. I love sunflowers so much. So this is just like a dream come true for an item. And I would love, love, love to be able to make it one day. Maybe even on this channel. Maybe I would challenge myself to make one of these items on this channel. Then I found a few skirts. I really want to start wearing skirts like this. Love wearing skirts. It's just been able to find them. So if I can make them and make them how I want them, then that's even better. So I have a few skirts that I think are really, really pretty and just go well with anything. I'm imagining this one just with like a cute little crocheted, or not even crocheted, just a cute little cropped vest top. And then one of the tied cardigans over the top with like the little ties in the middle. I think that'd look gorgeous and then with like a cute little tote bag my hair all like judged up and not as flat as it is now i just think that'd be really really cute with some like long stockings and like boots oh amazing then we have this green dress there were quite a couple of these dresses which are just your basic mesh dress this just gives like nicole kidman and practical magic like it it is nicole kidman right i'm getting that right ginger hair nicole kidman i'm pretty sure it is this just screams Nicole Kidman in Practical Magic to me. It's just, ugh, it's just so flowy and nice. I'd love to be able to wear things like this, but I have like big insecurities about my shoulders. So I don't think I'd be able to pull, pull it off fully because you'd, you have to feel confident, you know what I mean? And I don't think I feel confident in a dress like this, but I would love to aspire to be able to wear a dress like this one day. That would be great. And then there were quite a few cardigans slash ponchos that were just absolutely divine. I would love to be able to do like a bigger crochet project like this like just something that will take me like a month to do and then at the end I just have this amazing piece I just, I just love to have that sense of like accomplishment and then there were just some basic vests and I feel like these are just a staple in whims whimsy goth as well I really like this one that I found it's just got little mushrooms little mushes on and I feel like that just elevates the fairy corners of it all but yeah the last thing that I wanted to include was this little cardigan I'm pretty sure it's knitted 
but the bush rooms on it I think are crocheted and yeah it's really really cute and it, you could easily like crochet the cardigan part but I think this one is knit. So yeah that's it for the clothing part um the main clothing part if I find any more whilst I'm editing this I will be sure to add them in now maybe just just a, just a couple more that I, may, I might have missed when researching but now we're going to move on to accessories and I have quite a couple of those so we'll get into that. Okay so the first thing that I saw were these sleeves I think these are adorable like they're actual sleeves slash gloves I've seen them in multiple colours but these green ones, the green distressed, I fell in love with. I'd love to make something like this. And I found these stockings as well. I also found some mushroom socks, like little, well, leg warmers. But I will also try and find, I sent a TikTok to my friend the other day because they had crochet stockings and they were gorgeous. They were like green and they had mushrooms in them and they were just like vines and gorgeous gorgeous so i will try and find those and include those as well again another pair of leg warmers which are also like very weasley core i love these and also these ones are a little bit oversized as well so like ruffle up a lot i like that and also gloves these gloves here these are really cute as well then i found quite a few bags tote bags mainly but this star bag is also something i really want i can imagine like luna Luna absolutely rocking this so I would love to try and make something like this. I'm going to include this in accessories although it could be accessories or home decor but it's a little witch's hat and it's got little shroomies on it and I think it's absolutely adorable like just wearing this out in general is just like such a vibe like yeah pulling off a witch's hat is very hard to do so I'm including this in here although it could also be home decor because I'd probably like have it on a shelf or something or I'd wear it for like a makeup look I think that'd be really really cool. I also found this mushroom granny square like a cross bag but it also has like another bag with it so there's a little cross bag and then there's a big cross bag and I think these are adorable just having both of them to pick and choose which one you want. Again we have some more granny square tote bags this one's a black one with like celestial like symbols on it but you can easily switch that up to some again some little mushes and like green and brown maybe. But I think granny squares again are just a really good idea because you just do whatever you want in the granny squares and then it's all about how you join them up simple really I say when I haven't really experimented with granny squares yet but yeah and then we have some necklaces now the thing that's crocheted would be obviously the chain itself and then with the little crystals inside but you can take out the crystals change them around if you want put some bones in there i think that putting bones in a little jar and then crocheting the like necklace would be such a cool idea or some like teeth like teeth in a jar and doing that i think that'd be really cool and yeah that's pretty much it for the accessories point of things so we will move on to decor now so first up, no surprise that these vines, not these vines, but the crochet vines that you see everywhere are going to be in this, but I found some with little acorns on top, I think are really cool, you could put mushrooms in there as well, there's a common theme that mushrooms are very popular within, within the whimsy goth like style. And then these toadstool little decor pieces i'm pretty sure they're to like hang up on your walls or like just have them out i would say a coaster but i think the mushrooms are like 3d so that probably wouldn't work very well then we have the granny square curtains this is such a cool idea again you can just change them out for anything you want make any granny square you want put them together in a long row you've got curtains then we have another mushroom wall hanging and that's for that one but i'm pretty sure you can get like different mushrooms and different patterns for that too I also found these moth ones as well, which amazing. Then we have a few cushion covers, like crochet cushion covers, which are really cool. Again, stars, um, just do a huge granny square, pop that on a cushion, you've got a whimsy goth cushion. And I think this is one of my favourite things where I've found, which are voodoo, like, shrunken head crochet, like, dangly, danglies, like little danglies, add, like, put it on like a hook and have it dangling like on a bookshelf or something this, this might be a little bit too too witchy for some people but I absolutely love it I think it's really really cute and it reminds me of the ones that are on the three broomsticks in Harry Potter 
if you can't tell i really love harry potter then we just have these random little mushrooms i'm not sure what you could do with them but they are so freaking cute i could not include them so i'm not even sure how to go about this but it's basically wisteria like the plant wisteria hanging from the wall from the ceiling so i put this in here because if you just like make flowers like you know people make lavender like crochet lavender and hang it from your ceiling in like bunches maybe then I think that'll look really cute wolfsbane as well I think like wolfsbane being crocheted and hung from the ceiling or put in little bunches and placed onto the wall would look really really just really really cute and really really whimsical then there's the classic like wall hangings for your jewellery and things like that this is just a green one with some vines coming off of it to make it more whimsical i'm sick of saying whimsical and whimsigoth and gothic and cute i'm sick of saying it and then there's just this granny square blanket with loads of eyes on it again i think the eyes are really really cute like the jumper in the beginning but again granny squares any whimsical pattern that you want um again mushrooms stars or even just like a cool little pattern in the colors that you want and make it into a big blanket and having that as a little show piece i think that's really really cute now i saw these and at first i was like that's not very like whimsical whimsy goth but then i was like that's incorrect these look absolutely adorable and even if it's not whimsy whimsy goth i want to include it but they're basically jellyfish hanging from the wall um from the ceiling even and as we all know i'm in my jellyfish making era so i thought this was really really adorable and the colors that they've used as well they've used different textures of yarn too like they've used a fluffy yarn a normal yarn like more like um a thinner yarn like the top from earlier and i think it looks adorable and having them in the specific colors can just add to your aesthetic yeah there might be jellyfish but the jellyfish in the color that is going to fit your room or your home or something like that so yeah and then just a few other things these mushroom lights these photo frames that i found just like crocheted photo frames And then the last thing that I wanted to include because I am Delulu and I love looking at baby things is this little crochet whimsical mobile, like baby mobile. I think this is absolutely adorable and my child will a thousand percent be having one of these in the future. But yeah, that is everything that I curated with Whimsy Goth Crochet. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I will try my very best to link everything down below. Um, and if I can't find the links for the patterns, then I'll just link the Pinterest pin. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other aesthetics that you want me to do or any themes or things like that. I really like to do in this. Like I said, Pinterest is like my second home. I'm on there all the time. And I will also make the pin board public for you guys to go and have a look and i'll link that in the description too but yeah that is it from me my lovely dumplings and i will see you in the next one hopefully maybe possibly